So you think inflation has been uh, beaten back sufficiently so that the Fed now can begin to lower interest rates? Is that your view of what's likely to happen? Or what is your view on what the Fed is likely to do over the next six or nine months? You know, I think if I were in the Fed's shoes, when I hear Jay Powell speak, I think he's describing kind of a similar um, mental map. You don't have a lot of pressure on you. The bar is high to either raise or lower rates from where we are today. Um, when you look at what it takes to get fast rate declines, usually you need the economy collapsing pretty quickly. That's, there's a sense of urgency, right? The economy's collapsing, sense of urgency, lower rates as fast as you can. That's very far from where we are today. We don't have a collapsing economy creating that. And inflation is still uncomfortably high. It's not as high as it was. It has been coming down. But the impetus for I got to lower rates quickly is certainly not there. And so I think if I were in their shoes, I would think the bar is pretty high to move either way. I need to see how things play out. But I certainly am not excited about lots of rate cuts when inflation is still kind of a little stickier, higher than it should be. Conventional wisdom in Washington, which is not always right, in fact it's wrong probably more than it's right, is that the Fed is likely to increase interest rates another 25 basis points this year and sometime next year the Fed might begin to lower. Uh, do you subscribe to that conventional wisdom or not? Well, I think the most important wisdom to be looking at and challenging is what's priced into the markets, right? Like we basically make our living looking at what's priced in the markets and having thoughts independent of that and being right. And when you look at what's in the bond market, it's uh, been pared back some, but it's a picture of a pretty good number of rate cuts coming our way starting next year, um, a pretty significant decline in interest rates. And uh, to me, that's hard to achieve without the economy slowing because the impetus is just not going to be there.